Hi, this is Dr. Gotari from e Research Academy. Friends, I welcome you all in my YouTube channel here. So friends, today we are going to discuss a numerical portion of regression analysis. In previous lecture, we discussed the theoretical part of this chapter or this topic. Okay, there we, we discussed uh, under different conditions or given condition, how we find out two regression lines. So here we will apply the first method when we take the deviation from the actual mean while calculating the regression lines. Okay. So friend, let's start. We have a question here. We are given two variables x and y. Okay. So on the basis of these two variables and the given information, we have to find out two regression equation here. Right. So let's start. So the first thing that we need for getting the two regression equation here by first method that is the mean okay so we need mean of both the series here or both the variable here so for getting the mean in individual series we need summation of all these observations are known as summation of axis and the summation of y's okay so summation of axis gives us 60 and as the mean value or x bar becomes 60 upon n and n we have 10 that is 6 okay so in x series we have a mean value 6 whereas in y series the summation of all y values are 70 okay and if we get the mean of y series that is y bar equal to 70 upon n and we have 10 so that is 7 okay so friend these are the mean values of x and y series okay so actually we have to take the deviation from these actual means so hence we need this actual means here okay so once the actual means are calculated so we need deviation from the actual means in both the series okay so first we will take deviation from axis. This is known as small x. Okay. This will be denoted as small x. X minus x bar. Okay. So 5 minus 6, we have minus 1, minus 3, 1, minus 2, 2, minus 4, 0, 2, 1, and 4. Okay. So these are the deviation from actual mean x minus actual mean right 5 minus 6 3 minus 6 okay so x minus x bar we have next we need the square of this deviation okay so 1 into 1 3 into 3 9 1 4 4 16 0 4 1 and 16 okay so these are the square value of this deviation from actual mean. The same we need for y series as well. Okay. So this is y minus y bar. Y values minus mean of the y series. This is denoted by a small y. Okay. Or somewhere it is also known as the dx. Actually dx is deviation from the assumed mean. Okay. So now we have y8 and y bar 7. So 8 minus 7, this is 1. 6 minus 7, minus 1. Okay. Then 7 minus 7, 0. 4 minus 7, minus 3. 2, 1, minus 1, minus 2. Then 3, 0, 1. Okay. So these are the deviation from actual mean in y series. Right. So next we need here y is square the square of these deviation okay so this is 1 1 0 9 4 1 4 9 0 and 1 okay so these are the square value of this deviation in y series right so last column that we need is 
deviation of x times deviation of y x into y this is deviation of x series small x multiplied by small y okay so this column into this column x into y okay so minus 1 into 1 this is minus 1 minus 3 into minus 3 this is 3 1 into 0 0 minus 2 into 3 6 2 into 2 4 4 into 4 1 4 0 into minus 2 0 2 into 3 6 1 into 0 0 4 into 1 4 okay so these are the deviation and their multiplications okay so now after doing this much of work then as per the requirement we have to calculate bxy and byx right so coefficient of regression equation of x on y and coefficient of regression equation of y on x so that we need here right so friend you just please note it down first so that we can solve out the question further So, if we calculate B, X, Y, it is simply sigma X, Y, sigma X, Y upon sigma Y square, okay. So, sigma X, Y here, sigma X, Y is 26 And sigma y here, sigma y square is 30. Okay. Sigma x y is 26, sigma y square is 30. Right? So this will become 26 by 30 is equal to 0 0.867. So we have b x y. 0.867. Similarly, we will find B Y X. It is sigma X Y upon sigma X square. So sigma X square we have sigma X square we have 70. Okay, it is sigma X square we have 56. Okay. Summation of x square is 56. So put the value here. Sigma x y is 26 by 56. So b x y we have 0 0.464. Okay. B x y and b y x. Okay. So we need these two values for getting our two regression equations, right? So now you just have a screenshot of this one or note down this, this much of portion so that we can just solve the questions further. discussed in, in previous lecture so we need two regression equation here the first one is regression equation of x on y here means x if 
dependent on y right so it is x minus x bar equal to b x y times y minus y bar so now put the values that we know these are x bar we have 6 x we don't know b x y b x y we have 0 0.867 y we don't know y bar we have 7 ok now x minus 6 equal to 0 0.867 y minus this into this is 5 point sorry this is 6.07 6.07 this into this now put this value to this side we get x equal to 0 0.867 y minus 6.07 plus 6 ok so we have first equation that is x on y 0 0.867 y minus 0 0.07 so friends, this is our first equation that is x on y, right? x equal to 0 0.67867y minus 0 0.07, okay? So now, similarly, we will estimate the second equation that is regression equation of y on x, okay? It will be y on x. is y on x means y dependent on x ok we will be given x in such case when we have to find y ok in the question x will be given we will have to find out the y value here ok so it is y minus y bar equal to b y x times x minus x bar ok so y we don't know y bar we have 7 equal to b y x we have 0 0.464 times x minus x bar we have 6 ok so this is y minus 7 is equal to 4 6, 4, x minus this into this is 2.78 2.78 0 0.464 into 6 minus 2.78 so y minus sorry this is just take the 7 to this side this will become y equal to 0 0.464 x minus 2.7 8 plus 7. So this will give you y equal to 0 0.464x plus 4.22. Okay. So friends, this will be our second equation. Right? This is our second equation. Okay. So our first equation is our first equation is that is x equal to 0 0.867 y this is minus 0 0.07 this is our first equation and this one is our second equation ok so friends thank you very much for watching this video if you have not subscribed this channel so far, please subscribe it and share it to your friends and also give your valuable comments. Okay. So have a nice day and God bless you.